Let's talk about that because you are right in the crosshairs of uh, not only biopharma, but also COVID-19. Let's take it from the yeah. top for those people who haven't heard, you, haven't heard the story yet. So we're working on um, two approaches to COVID-19. One is a vaccine-based approach. Um, we're uh, using um, the same strategies that others are using with uh, putting the mRNA or the nucleic acid inside um, the virus that can cause the disease. Um, but we, instead of using the one um, message or the one protein, the spike protein like Moderna or some of the others, we are using all four of the viral proteins. So it's the S protein, the M protein, the E protein, and the N protein. This should confer broad-based and long-lasting immunity. Um, we are in um, animal studies now, so we'll be having some news on that very soon um, in terms of antibody production and then also viral challenge. Okay, wait a second. I got a question. When you say animal studies now, in the, in the arc of the story, where does that, like, if we were to guess, okay, we've got stage one, we got stage two, we got animal studies, and I can go buy it at CVS. How soon before you can start shooting something into me? Yeah. <laughs> That's the question I'm trying to get to. So the first half of 2021 should be. So just you know, a little bit of a primer on vaccines. So basically I could, um, to quote one of my professors in graduate school, I could shoot mayonnaise into you and you'd mount an immune response to it. So just mounting an immune response, which some of the vaccines that are out there now are showing, really is not going to um, decide whether you're gonna confer long-term immunity. What we are going to have to do is be able to survive or uh, thrive in a disease challenge. Um, and what animal studies allow us to do is to challenge them with the virus, SARS-CoV-2A is the science name, or COVID-19, the popular name, and make sure that they don't get sick. Yeah. Um, we have not seen that happen with the Moderna vaccine um, in large animals. We've seen it in small animals. Um, and some of the others have some promising results. Uh, but we believe that our strategy is better by using all four proteins.